Alright, so here's my uh, semi-completed project here. Still a bit of ways to go, uh, mainly uh, remotely downloading the pictures, but at least I could take the pictures, I could stitch them together, and it uh, looks good. So I've added a couple of uh, extra buttons here and also LEDs to indicate uh, which mode you want to operate in, whether it's test mode or take, uh, picture taking mode. So um, first button here on the left here is the uh, mode button. So you can see it just uh, sequences through the lights to indicate uh, what mode you want to be in. And the uh, switch on the right is the action, uh, or I guess go. So. I press that and the camera will start doing things. So here's the camera and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just um, uh, leave it in this mode zero which is uh, with both LED lights off. I'm going to press this uh, button over here and you can watch the action uh, on the camera. It's just uh, doing a test sweep is all it's doing. And that's it. So. Uh, it uh, works pretty good. And then if I go to the other mode, which is, I'm just going to do it, um, which is the mode 3 here with both LEDs on, if I press that, the camera will turn on and start taking pictures at every 25 degrees here. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. So you hear the uh, camera just turned on. Okay, it took a picture. Go into the next 25, took a picture. So there it is, another picture. So it takes a total of eight pictures, which then can be uh, downloaded and uh, stitched together. And then the uh, camera powers off and goes back to its standby mode there. So there you have it, all in one.